Okay, mate 40 here at Shelley Beach in Manly, northern part of uh, Sydney. And uh, I was just thinking about the difference between being right and being exciting. So, you know, Colin Coward, all right, who does sports talk radio, he makes the point there's no money in being right in sports talk radio. His emphasis is entirely upon being interesting. And so, you know, saying new interesting things about politics is a real challenge and it also takes you away from being right because the, the primary you know, political issues that matter are simple, <laughs> not terribly interesting. Right, number one, from a conservative perspective, is people who commit crimes, you put them in prison. People who commit violent crimes, you put them in prison and you keep them there. But if you just lock up the 1%, of the population of super predators that cause so much trouble, all right, then life improves the rest of us by 100%. Like just doing that one thing would make such a dramatic difference to our quality of life. And then the second thing is generally you know, rearrange incentives so that uh, antisocial behavior right, gets less reinforcement from public policy. So. You know, the squeegee men who try to clean your windows at a stoplight and then charge you money, all right? The, the homeless, right? you know, the drug addicts, uh, the petty crims, right? All the people who are ruining our quality of life, the people doing graffiti, right? You should be strongly incentivizing not to participate in that kind of behavior. You know, so instead of giving away billions of dollars to incentivize people going on disability, unproductive behavior. Right? We should be incentivizing productive behavior. So Obamacare right, was a one trillion, two trillion, ten trillion dollar away uh, giveaway, I think two trillion over ten years, giveaway from pro the productive part of society to the low productive or non-productive part of society. So we just incentivize people you know, to not get homeless and instead of incentivizing people to get homeless by pouring you know, more and more free services in their direction and making it as easy as possible to be an illegal immigrant, to be homeless, to be antisocial, to be dysfunctional. Right? So we need to rearrange those priorities so people have stronger incentives to get health insurance, to get a job, to you know, make responsible life decisions, to avoid crime, to avoid you know, getting on disability and food stamps unless absolutely necessary, and incentivize people to get off these things as quickly as possible. It's so simple, so boring. I'm just thinking about, you know, alt-right pundits like Richard Spencer, it's, oh, this is boring, right? Conservatism sucks. But just doing that one thing, reducing violent crime by keeping people who commit violent crime in prison until they're at least past 50, right? Get a 100% improvement in the quality of life. Like cleaning up the street people, uh, putting them in their mental health asylums. Uh, the people who are screaming on the street, who are threatening on the street, who are panhandling, who are threatening you on subways, uh, people who don't pay their subway fare. you got to bust them. you got to bust them. People who are deteriorating the quality of life. So, like I'm enjoying such a wonderful quality of life here in Manly, Australia. It's just a shanda what we've let happen in America. 